Greetings. I'm Tanya Fulton, the ETS at Best Academy High School. Today I want to talk to you about jamming with Jamboard. So let's jam. So what is Jamboard? Jamboard is a digital whiteboard. You can use Jamboard for collaboration with students and your colleagues to use as a study reference for organization and assessment options. So in this video, I'm gonna cover creating a jam, tools and menus, types of activities, sharing options, and how to save a jam. So first let's start with our tools and menus. On the left hand side, you will notice you have a toolbar. At the very top of your jam, you would have different menus. So at the top of your toolbar on the left side, you have a pen, which can also be used on a padlet, on a, excuse me, tablet. You have an eraser, your selector or your pointer, option for sticky notes, adding images or GIFs, adding objects such as shapes, a text box option, and then also a laser or pointer. Along the top of your jam, you have an option to set your background. If you click on it, you have different options as well as an option to add your own image. Also to clear a frame. So if you add different text or scribble or objects to a jam and you no longer want that, you want a clear slate, you would just click on clear frame. On the right hand side, you have the option to share your jam to collaborate with another person. You can also open a jam board. So if someone is giving you a code to open up their jam board to join in theirs, you have that option there. And then you have your option to rename it, download as a PDF, save as an image to remove it all together, make a copy. And then also there's some additional Google supports at the below on that menu. So again, as I stated, there are many ways you can use your Jamboard. So we're gonna look at a few ways. Remember there's collaboration options. Students can use it as a study resource. You can use it for organization, whether it is for your students or your colleagues, uh, an assessment tool. And that can be used, again, in a classroom setting or in professional learning. So let's look at an option to use as a starter or class activity. So here's an example of a KWL chart that's used as an image. You notice if I use my pointer, I can move it around my screen. But you can also use a, a worksheet uh, excuse me, you could also use a document as a worksheet where students do not have the option to manipulate. And let me demonstrate what that looks like. So I'm gonna go to an empty jam. I'm gonna choose set background, image, find my image in my Google Drive, and I'm gonna select my worksheet. Now your students have the option to work in this particular jam without manipulating your document. So they can add a sticky note or multiple st sticky notes in order to answer the questions. And then they will save their jam. The next option is maybe to use a Venn diagram. In this particular um, example, students can work together to complete this particular Venn diagram about whatever ideas that they have read about to do a comparison and contrast of their topic. Here's an example of a student completing a project where they had to talk about a particular topic, which is Forever 21, and they used different text, uh, they used images as well as sticky notes. Jamboard can be used in all content areas. For an example, teachers may use the graph background to allow students to plot and graph slopes or angles. That could be done by using the pen option. I hope that you found Jamboard to be a tech tool that you can utilize, whether you're in a professional learning setting or in the classroom. So let's get jamming.